Thumbelina. Today we have a book named Thumbelina, Short Stories for Kids. I think they're so pretty. I hope you guys really enjoy it. I love it. Please give this video a like if you enjoy it, and don't forget to subscribe for more stories. Thank you, reading. So, here we go. Once upon a time, in a world of wonder and enchantment, there lived a tiny, delicate girl named Thumbelina. She was no bigger than a thumb, with eyes as blue as forget me, knots, and hair as golden as the summer sun. Thumbelina's story is filled with magic, adventure, and the extraordinary, and it all began with a magical seed. One day, a kindly old woman who loved to plant flowers in her garden was given a special gift by a fairy. The gift was a shimmering, mystical seed. The fairy told the old woman to plant the seed with love and care, and something truly magical would bloom. The old woman did just that. She planted the seed in a small flower pot, watered it with love, and sang lullabies to it every night. In just a few days, a lovely, delicate flower sprouted, but it wasn't like any flower the old woman had ever seen. It had petals, as soft as silk, and a sweet fragrance that filled the air. As the old woman admired the flower, she noticed a tiny movement among the petals. To her amazement, a little girl, no taller than her thumb, emerged from the heart of the flower. The old woman named the girl Thumbelina, for she was indeed as small as a thumb. Thumbelina's new home was among the petals of the magical flower. She spent her days tending to the petals and exploring the miniature world that surrounded her. She befriended insects and made tiny beds out of rose petals, where she would rest her head at night. But one night, as Thumbelina was sleeping peacefully in her petal bed, she was awakened by the soft, melodic voices of a group of field mice who had discovered her flower. They were delighted to find such a delicate and beautiful girl and decided to take her with them to their cozy mouse hole. Thumbelina, being kind-hearted and eager for adventure, agreed to go with them. The mice gave her a small bed of her own and a little leaf for a blanket. They shared their food and stories with her and she became a part of their mouse family. As winter approached, Thumbelina's tiny world became colder and more challenging. She had to wear a tulip petal as a coat to keep warm and help with household chores. But even in the midst of these challenges, she was loved and cared for by her mouse family. One day, as Thumbelina was gathering crumbs from the kitchen, she heard a tiny, mournful voice coming from the cold, snow-covered ground. She followed the voice and discovered a small, wounded swallow. The swallow was unable to fly and was close to freezing. With great compassion, Thumbelina brought the swallow inside and cared for it, nursing it back to health. The two became fast friends and shared stories of their adventures and dreams. The swallow longed to return to the skies, and Thumbelina wished to explore the world beyond the mouse hole. Together, they hatched a plan to help each other. When spring arrived, the swallow's wing was strong enough to fly once more, and Thumbelina bid her feathered friend a tearful farewell, watching as it soared into the sky. Now, Thumbelina was left alone and her longing for adventure grew stronger with each passing day. One night, as she sat by the window and gazed at the moon, she heard a soft, enchanting melody. It was a song sung by a group of frogs who lived in the nearby pond. Curiosity got the better of Thumbelina, and she decided to visit the frog. They were delighted by her presence and invited her to dance to their enchanting music. Thumbelina twirled and leaped, feeling the joy of the music fill her heart. The frogs introduced her to their king, 
the kind and gentle frog who was captivated by Thumbelina's beauty and grace. He asked for her hand in marriage, and Thumbelina, though touched by the offer, felt that her heart belonged to the open skies and the wide world beyond. One night, as Thumbelina was preparing for the Frog King's wedding, she noticed a familiar chirping outside the window. It was her dear friend, the Swallow, who had returned to visit. The Swallow landed on the windowsill and shared tales of its journeys across forests, rivers, and meadows. Thumbelina's heart swelled with the desire for adventure and freedom once more. She knew she couldn't marry the Frog King and give up her dreams. With the Swallow's help, they devised a plan to escape the Frog Kingdom. In the dead of night, while the Frog King and his subjects slumbered, Thumbelina climbed onto the Swallow's back. With a powerful flap of its wings, they soared into the moonlit sky, leaving the Frog Kingdom far behind. Thumbelina marveled at the world below as they glided over forests, meadows, and rivers. She felt like a true adventurer, and her heart was filled with joy. The swallow carried her to a beautiful garden, where they landed gently among the blossoms. As she explored the garden, Thumbelina came across a handsome young prince who was nearly her own size. He, too, had been enchanted and brought to the garden by a fairy spell. When their eyes met, they knew they had found true love. The prince and Thumbelina were wed in a grand ceremony, surrounded by the blossoms and the whispering leaves of the garden. They made their home among the flowers, where they lived happily ever after, sharing their dreams and their love. And so, my dear child, that is the end of the story of Thumbelina, a tale of adventure, friendship, and the pursuit of one's dreams. Now close your eyes and let your imagination carry you into a world of enchantment. Good night, and may your dreams be as magical as Thumbelina's own adventures. The End Good job, friends. Thank you so much for reading with me. Bye, I'll see you next time.